welcome so today we will look at one more problem based on the naive base classifier so <clears throat> what we have given is that you have given two dimensional feature that is x1 and x2 so you have the two features or you can say two inputs and the category categorical class conditional distribution in the table below so this is your uh, conditional distribution table or you can think it as that you have already given the parameters right that you are supposed to uh, train during your during the training of your model right so these pre-calculated parameters has already been given to you right the entries in the table corresponds to this probability that probability of x1 takes a value given some class right so or this one that probability of x2 takes some value given class c so these this probability is corresponding to this table and this probability the overall point is that the parameter have already given to you and you have been asked to find this probability and also one more point to notice here that the classes the class probability is equally probable that means probability of c1 is equal to probability of c2 that is equal to 0 0.5 so and so given a data point x1 is equal to minus 1 and x2 is equal to 1 calculate the following posteriori probability so we have to find these two probability right so it's a, it, a straightforward question based on the naive base so you have to make the assumption of the naive base while calculating this probability right so let's calculate this so uh, so we have to find this first so how we can write under the conditional assumption how we can write is that let's suppose that this priori probability that is probability of c1 has occurred under this class what we are assuming under this class c1 what will be the probability that x1 is equals to minus 1 right now x1 has occurred and since s1 has occurred it has nothing to do with the x2 occurrence of x2 that is what we are assuming the conditional independence so the features are going to be independent right so now next step how we can write that under the class c1 what will be the probability that x2 is equals to 1 right you see that happening of this x2 has nothing to do with this x1 you have not taken into consideration of this x1 right so that is what we make our uh, assumption of the in the naive base right and now we will have to take all the scenario of occurrence of this probability right so that will be the that will be the probability of occurrence of this joint event that is x1 is equals to minus 1 and x2 is equals to 1 now how you can expand this this denominator so let me expand the denominator so we are going to expand this that means we are going to find under all scenario that means happening of this happening of this joint event under both the classes c1 and c2 so how we are going to write this is probability of c1 into under the class c1 when c1 has occurred then 
x1 is equal to minus 1 given c1 into probability of x2 is equal to 1 given c1 this is the one thing and what could be the other scenario plus happening of c2 with some probability into c2 has happened what will be the probability that x1 is equal to 1 sorry minus 1 into uh, c2 has happened what will be the probability that x2 is equal to 1 so this is the total probability of this joint event now simply you will have to look at the table and this is going to be the same as it is right the upper part so let me write it down probability of c1 into probability of x1 is equal to minus 1 given c1 into probability of x2 is equal to 1 given c1 right now simply you will have to look at the table and you have to put this probability and you will get your answer let me do that so c1 what what's the probability of c1 it is equally probable c1 and c2 so its probability will be 0 0.5 and this term c1 when x1 is equal to minus 1 c given c1 that be 0 0.2 into x2 is equal to 1 x2 is equal to 1 under the condition c1 that is 0 0.1 and the whole thing is going to be here also plus now this c2 would be 0 0.5 and under the class c2 c2 what's the happening of this x2 is x1 is equal to minus 1 so that is just 1 0 0.3 into c2 uh, x2 is equal to 1 c2 x2 is equal to 1 so that will be 0 0.6 now let's calculate this so this is going to be 0 0.010 divided by 0 0.010 plus uh, this will be 0 0.9 sorry 0 0.090 so that will be 0 0.010 divided by 0 0.10 so that will be 0 0.1 right so answer to your first question is uh, that is equal to 0 0.1 right and what will be the answer of the second question so c1 so under the same event right these two these two events are the same right we have already found the probability of c1 and we have given that these two classes are equally likely that means what we can say about this event that will be 1 minus happening of this event so 0 0.1 so that is 0 0.9 right you can say this is the simplest question in the knife base because you here you have given everything that means this trained parameter you have to just find this probability that is all